Island Greek Festival. You can find a ton of activities there like raffles, food, and Greek fair. And that's where we find Cor Harlan this morning. And Cor, uh, what do you have to show us now? We are all Greek for a day on this day. This is a good Friday. It's a payday Friday. It's also Greek Festival Friday here at the Greek Orthodox Church at 32nd and Northeast Gleason. The party starts this morning at 10 o'clock. You can come out here and get yourself plenty of good food to eat, starting uh, with the lamb dinner. They have a dining hall here where you get a formal dinner as well. They have, I'm told, 22 lambs this weekend that are going to go over the coals. and. I got to say this, I hate to say this about all vegan people watching, but those lambs are delicious. They are delicious. <laughs> all right, we're in here inside, first of all. Uh, we showed you the pastry last half hour. I'll, and this is uh, Nicole and Stephanie from my right to my left here. This is very typical of what you would see, say, somewhere in an Athens market, you're telling me, correct? Absolutely. So in Athens, there's an area called the Monasteraki, which is what we've named this area of the Greek festival. And in that area, there are lots of shops that sell little sou souvenirs such as T-shirts, jewelry, knickknacks, anything you can think of that represents Greece, people go there and buy it. I like the scarf that I've got here. Let's get on to the video, Kelly. Show them, uh, show the folks the video. This is the event from last year, and as we mentioned, uh, this is a real celebration that, that the entire Greek community takes part in, uh, the pastry making, the food. Tell me just a little bit more about that. So the community really does come together. They prepare all of the pastries. They are running the booths at the festival. So you'll see all of us working really hard out in the Taverna area, cooking the souvlaki, cooking the lukaniko. I personally help with the spanikopita booth, uh, making the gyros out at the bar, pouring all the beers. So everyone really comes together to have a good time. Listening to you talk makes me hungry. Stephanie, you're going to be here at 10 o'clock this morning. What are you going to be doing? Um, I will be working inside here, selling pastries and working some behind the scenes things. Right. Well, Stephanie is a sophomore at U of O, came up here last night. It's up here at five o'clock in the morning. She, <laughs> she got to work at 10. I suggest a nap uh, before you coming back to work here. But just to finish us out here, Jenny and Ken, with another look around the uh, market here. This, uh, everything from the scarf that I've got on here to all the uh, little Greek trinkets that you see here and, and uh, uh, just lots of cool stuff out here at the Greek Festival that again starts at 10 o'clock this morning. Coming up in about a half hour, I'm told after 6 o'clock, the first one of those lamb to go on the spit uh, will be uh, rotating his way into an appetizable form there. So we look forward to that in about a half an hour. That'll be outside. And this is a good event, event as you're well aware. Rain or shine, because just about every spot in the parking lot out here in the church is under cover. So a little rain is not going to spoil the party here today from the Greek festival, Jenny and Ken. Yeah, that is, that's definitely key in, in Oregon. Yeah. And the Greeks know how to do it with the festivals. <laughs> they, they put on a good yeah. show. They do. They yeah. do. Okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. That's always a great event, one of my favorite events of the yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Well, we like it when Cor brings us back the baklava, so <laughs> hopefully he's still listening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's Sometimes waiting. Sometimes he brings back even more than that, so yeah. we'll see, uh, we'll what, see. Our, what our haul will be this year. How hungry he is, that's what it all depends <laughs> on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As